Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Floss, back again with another video. And I'm making this one real quick just to update y'all on my experience with the Samsung Gear Fit 2. Now, if you watch the full review I did a couple of days ago, I started out the video by saying, don't buy this just yet. And I'm sticking by that statement. Do not buy this just yet. Now, look, I read the comments on all of my videos. Now, when I read the comments for the Gear Fit 2, a lot of people were saying that maybe I got a defective unit, you know, and um, maybe I need to try out a different one. So I went to Best Buy and I bought another one. This is not a defective unit. Stop making excuses for Samsung's poor build quality. All right, this is not a defective unit. Just look at it. This is the locking mechanism. That's all you have to lock this into place. Now, my original main gripe with this is the band doesn't stay on correctly. Now, as far as the poor battery life, I can live with that. Just gotta charge this up every night. But the band is a definite no-go. Now, also, when I was reading the comments, some people were saying, okay, you're probably wearing it too tight or you're probably wearing it too loose. Again, stop making excuses for poor build quality. This is a fitness tracker. You should be able to wear it loose or tight. You shouldn't have to wear it at one specific size. Now, if you do wear it too loose, you're kind of defeating the purpose because you won't be able to monitor your heart rate. And if you wear it too tight, then it's uncomfortable. But again, you should have the option to wear it any size you want, just like any regular watch. Some days I wanna wear my watch super tight, and some days I wanna loosen it up. But the point is, it's gonna stay on my wrist. Another thing that people were saying in the comments, look, people were saying, I bought one of these a week ago, I was wearing it in the gym, I was playing basketball with it on, and it never came off. And I'm happy for you. If you have that experience and it never came off yet, I'm happy for you. But the purpose of me making these videos is to try to help other people out when you're making a decision. Now, if it hasn't fallen off your wrist yet, that's cool. But it fell off of my wrist about 10 times already. I bought one of these for my girl. Let me tell you her story real quick. So I bought one of these, the same one for her, the pink version. She went to work. She called me from work on Thursday and she told me that she lost it. So I was like, all right, really no big deal because I don't really like this one too much anyway. I said, don't sweat it. We'll get the Fitbit ones and we'll try to do, because we, we was originally trying to use the Together app, you know, the Together feature with this, and we was going to battle and see who does more steps for the day. So I said, don't even sweat it. Two hours later, she called me back. She said somebody at her job found it and gave it back to her. Now, one thing about this watch or fitness tracker, whatever you want to call it, if you use the Find My gear, you know, the Find My fitness tracker app, from your gear manager, it kind of defeats the purpose because there's no speaker. So if you drop this somewhere and you use Find My Gear or Find My Watch, whatever you want to call it, if you use that feature, all it's going to do is make the watch vibrate. We'll just call it a watch. We're just going to make the watch vibrate. So unless you're somewhere where it's super quiet and you dropped it on a hard surface where you can hear it vibrate, you asked out. Or unless you drop it somewhere and it's pitch dark and you can see a little notification on it, then you might be able to find it. But if you drop it and you use the Find My Watch app, you ain't gonna be able to find it. Another problem. Now, let me tell you my story with this, that my final straw, why I'm calling this a fail. Like I said, fell off about 10 times already. Now, when I was up in the gym, it fell off again, no big deal. I went bowling last night. Now, shout out to everybody that follows me on Instagram. Y'all seen the little picture that I posted at the bowling alley. I'll just bring it up real quick so y'all can see it real one time. Now, this is kind of it's kind of funny because if you look close, all three of us, we was we was all drunk, but all three of us finished with 107. I know that's a shitty score, but like I said, we was drunk. We had $50 on the table and we all got to keep our money. So no big deal. But anyway, went bowling, forgot I had this on and bowling is a sport. This is a fitness tracker. You should be able to wear it while you're doing sports. The watch popped off my wrist at the bowling alley and fell down. And this is what happened to it. All right, if you look closely, you can see the screen is cracked now. Look at that. All right, so damaged goods now. Now, for all y'all people saying, oh, don't worry about it if it falls off, it has Gorilla Glass on it, let's take a look at this. All right, Gorilla Glass is not titanium. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not bulletproof. It's scratch resistant, but it will still break. Just like on all your phones, all y'all people that say, oh, who needs a tempered glass screen protector because it has Gorilla Glass? Just look at this. 
All right, watch fell off last night. Now it's broke. Still functions, but look how ugly this looks now. All that cracked glass. That just looks whack. So I haven't even had this for two weeks yet. Now let me show y'all something real quick. I'm gonna put it on my wrist and I'm gonna show y'all why I'm saying this is a fail right here. Let's put it on real quick. Put it on a regular, regular tightness. Now look, this is on my wrist. Yeah, when you shake it, it's not gonna fall off. That's fine. But look at this. Watch this. All right, that's how easy this pops open. Just one finger, just like that. So now let me show you. Say you're walking around, say this is your other leg, or maybe, you know, your, your car door or anything, and it just and you just happen to brush your wrist on it like that. Look how it just pops open like that. That's poor design quality right there. All right, you shouldn't be able to just pop it open just like that. Would you buy a $1,000 or $2,000 gold chain that you could just pop off your neck? Imagine if your watch, you could just go like this and pop your expensive smartwatch, just pop right off your wrist. No kind of secondary safety mechanism. So like I'm saying, now look, buy this if you want. As far as the watch itself, it's a dope watch. All of the features work. The battery ain't the greatest, but you know, you just charge it every night. It's a dope watch and I actually like the way the watch functions. But this band is so whack. I'm sticking to my original statement. Do not buy this just yet. Just wait until they come out with some new bands because I'm pretty sure a thousand people is gonna complain about this. So Samsung, they probably in the market right now making some, uh, you know, one size fits all kind of band or some kind of band like this or the band that's on your original gear watch with the built-in lock, something like that. As far as this band though, this is a no-go. If you drop it on the concrete, now I dropped this in a bowling alley on wooden floors. So imagine if you drop this out in the street this is what could happen. So buyer beware. All right, that's the whole purpose of this video. Buyer beware. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if y'all got one of these or if y'all know anybody that got one of these and they having the same problem. If, Like I said, if you don't have that problem, good, I'm happy for you. But just be careful because this could happen to you and that'll be $200 right down the drain. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all got to say. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Final stream tonight. Then we starting a new stream next week. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. A little bit, right? Kirk, energized.